Hey guys and welcome back. Um, this is going to be day two of taking out the gearbox. Um, so we're about to head down the central coast now. Um, I'm just grabbing some of my tools and that today so we can um, ensure that we have everything that we need to get this out. Um, so I'm about to throw all that in my car now, drop the kids off at school and just head straight down. Um, I hope you liked the part one. Um, obviously it wasn't a how-to video or instructional video, it's just a bit of what's going on. Um, so I'm going to get all this in, um, start heading down again and we'll get another video going like part one and hopefully today, we'll, in part two, we'll get this gearbox removed and get everything done and that we needed. So let's get it going. Hey guys, so I didn't really do much uh, video on or talking through this video because it was just so much that we had to do and it was so much work and it was always having to readjust the camera and it was just really doing my head in so I'm just about to head back home now. Um, I'm just stopping at the shop quickly. Um, but I just thought I'd do this quick little video and then I'll probably finish the rest when I just get back home just explaining a little bit what we've done. So um, I might just cut this video now and I'll just jump into that when we get back. Hey guys, so I was hoping to uh, do more of a video today. Um, I really only had the time to do time lapses. We're in a short period where we had to get that box out and get it sent to the guy today. So I couldn't really just keep adjusting my camera. It was only me there trying to film by myself. Um, it was just too much work. And um, I still hope that you did enjoy the video of the parts that I did post up. Um, if there is anything you want to know specifically about this car or taking this gearbox out, just post it in the comments below and I'll um, write straight back to you. The only part that we really struggled with was the bell housing bolts. Um, there's two on either side with a dowel in the middle and then there's two further up. The two further up we were just trying to figure out how to attack them but we ended up just getting a whole bunch of um, attachments. I think we stuck about 10 together and just rattle gunned them off. Um, and then on the driver side there was two uh, oil cooler lines and they were probably the hardest thing to try and get off just because of the position they were in. We had to um, lift up and down the gearbox, try and push it to the side just so we could get them two lines off. Um, once we got them off, uh, we were pretty much got free from there. Uh, being an automatic it wasn't as hard as a manual. Um, just for the fact is we didn't have to drop the shifter and everything through it just pretty much just unbolted straight from the side the shifter and the pole box just dropped straight down um so yeah that's pretty much it for this video so if there is anything you want to know as i said just put it in the comments um if you haven't already subscribed and liked my channel please do that it helps me and it will help you every time i post a video it will come up in your notifications um also, you can go have a look at all the other videos I've posted. I've only just recently started to get a good amount of subscribers coming through and views. So I'm hoping them old videos still start pumping up some views. There's some really good videos in there if you want to go check them out. Um, if you have anything else you want to ask me about, anything detailing car-wise, you can also drop that in the comments. I'll write back to anything and help in any way I can. And I'll see you in the next video.